the leak out of this one is monumental. Look at that. It's blowing the water away before it can even foam up. You can see it. That's just my boost. That's my hard-earned boost just being blown out of the system. Hi everyone, Broomy here. Thanks for clicking on this video. You're obviously here to see how to make this boost leak tester, but I've also got a little uh, treat for you at the end of the video, how to make free horsepower. So stay tuned for that and we'll take a look at that. But first, before we get started, make sure you click on the subscribe button and ring that bell for all notifications. Something like 70% of people watching my videos at the moment aren't subscribed to the channel. So if you wanna stay up to date and see how to make cool stuff like this in the future, go to click the subscribe button, click the bell to receive all notifications. And uh, with that out of the way, Let's get started. So this is gonna be pretty simple to make here. I've just made a few variations on, on what you can do. Uh, the most basic one of this is to use just a tire valve. So a normal, your normal run of the mill sort of Schrader valve that you would find on a, on a car tire. You can see there, that's something that um, everyone's familiar with. Uh, the way they fit in is all you'll have to do is you need a drill and a drill bit. You drill the right size hole. They simply just bolt on the back and that's it. So so in order to then fit this to your vehicle, what you want to do is you have to match this cap to the entry of your turbocharger. You're then going to need a piece of silicon hose that matches the size of your cap as well as the, uh, the turbocharger inlet. So uh, I've got a 5 inch one here because the 5 inch uh, inlet on the GTX Garrett Turbo I have uh, needs it. I didn't have a, I already had the piece of silicon hose, so why bother getting a step down one? What I've also done here is I've made a few uh, variations to mine to show you different methods of, of, of building this. So this is the easiest method. This, this requires the least amount of tools as well. So this is just a drill and a single drill bit, and then you can bolt it in. These two other things here you'll see is a pressure gauge, just so you can monitor the pressure in the system. But in order to fit this, you'll see that it's threaded. So you, you'll need things like the drill, a different size drill bit, and you'll also need a tap. So it's not gonna be as common for people to have that stuff. And then again here, so this, this will actually release a lot more air into the system quicker than, than the little Schrader valve wheel. You see there's a, you know, it's a big sort of quarter inch hole there, and this is a tiny little one eighth or smaller hole. So uh, if you've got a big system, big intercooler, big intercooler piping and, and stuff like that, and a big plenum volume, this one might be the go for you. So what I've done here is I've just got a, a little uh, ball valve so I can turn it on and off at the source. And uh, yeah, then I can pretty simply regulate the pressure that I want max using um, the air compressor. And then I just attach my air hose here and uh, yeah, feed the air in on and off. And then I can monitor pressure in the system by the, uh, by the pressure gauge here. So. That's pretty simple. That's pretty much how you do it. Uh, you may need to get, you'll need to get the right size one of these. I just got this from Bunnings. This is a PVC plumbing one made by Holman. So that's pretty common. You'll find that most of the plumbing stuff will have 190 mil, whatever size cap to plug off PVC uh, piping. So that's pretty much how you do it. Drill a hole and then screw it in or drill a hole and tap it in. That's pretty much it. All right, so let's show you now how it's fitted to the car and how you operate it. So this really couldn't be simpler. Here we've got our boost set up and here's the front of our turbocharger. So there's the, here we go, inlet of the turbo right there. And it's just a case of uh, pushing this on. Probably easy to do this with two hands than holding a camera, but it'll go on. And once it's on like that, you normally have a hose clamp here. Tighten that hose clamp up and you're away to go. So if you're going to use the uh, valve type, uh, you'll just use your normal tire inflator, connect that into your air compressor, and then just simply push this onto here and put air into the system. Otherwise, just use the air hose and it's simply just push in place and connect on. And then you can just use the valve here to regulate air pressure in. Right, so that's how the system uh, sets up, but now we need a test to see if it actually works to put into theory. So here I've got some soapy water, pretty simple, uh, in a spray bottle. 
And we're just going to pressurize the system now, spray this around everywhere there's a joint and um, see if we've got any leaks. Fingers crossed we don't, but if not, then perfect, we can uh, fix it. I'll just spray some meal. Special mix there. Proprietary secrets, proprietary secrets. I'm going to hit, hopefully the air compressor stays off, but... You can see one's working and one isn't. And it's already kicked the air compressor on because the leak out of this one you can see that's not leaking at all. The leak out of this one is monumental. We'll look at that. And it's even worse down here. The air rushing out of this is actually blowing. It's blowing the water away before it can even foam up. You can see it. You know, and that's just, that's just my boost. That's my hard earned boost just being blown out of the system. I should be able to build pressure on that pressure gauge and see it quite easily, but it is leaking so ferociously out of this clamp and this clamp that I can't build pressure. It's at a leak tester, worked perfectly. We saw that we had some major leaks of the engine bay in these uh, quick release couplers and a couple of those there. So we're gonna have to fix that. Now, I didn't even know because I, I couldn't hear it. The car's very loud that I had leaks like that. So I said at the start of the video, free horsepower and how do we get it? Now, as you saw here with the leaks we got in this system, in order to create say 30 PSI in, in the, at the engine for this, the turbocharger spins up to how it needs to spin to produce that boost. However, if you've got a massive boost leak and you're just leaking out excess air, that turbocharger has to spin faster and faster and faster in order to maintain that 30 PSI. If we had no boost leaks, the turbocharger would be able to actually spin slower to still just produce the 30 PSI in the engine. So with more speed in the turbocharger it becomes more heat. Heat is the enemy of horsepower. So fix your boost leaks, lower your intake temperatures by making the turbo more efficient and increase in horsepower. It's as simple as that. So hope you learned something today. Hope this was uh, really informative for you and you can make one of these yourself. Uh, if you do make one, come over to our uh, Facebook page or our, or our Instagram page and tag us uh, our pages in these. And uh, yeah, we'd like to see your version of it. So, all right, I've got some more work to do to fix these boost leaks so I can get out to race. And uh, yeah, we'll see you at the track or we'll see you on YouTube next time. Thanks for joining us.